Hey Wappers, Simon here. So this is a really important lesson. I'll keep it as quick as possible. Um, but just now I posted in the Wapper group and it's about the recent float campaign that we just did. So long story short, uh, £941 in ad spend equaled 301 sales, which made about ten and, just over 10 and a half grand in sales in about five days, which is pretty good. Um, so it isn't a bad return on ad spend. Now, obviously, there's a few, you know, likes, shocked faces, whatever. Uh, but here's the the um, the really important lesson I want to share: never, ever, ever be impressed or misled by headline figures like like this. You'll see them on the internet loads. I mean, some of them just add ten zeros to, to all these figures. But yeah, either way, so. Uh, because there's a lot more in the detail which you which you know a lot of marketers don't put out there um, so first of all one is proof not anyone can just write stuff but if someone is writing stuff they need to be able to prove it so very quickly um, here's the ad manager <clears throat> so we had two little campaigns we had this whoops that's a cry one stand by this one and this one so it's about yeah the main one was 741 pounds ad spend and then the last minute one was uh, 200 so it's 941 pounds on 24p um, and in terms of the sales if we go to so use acuity for float and no just one of these there we go valentine float all the customers are on the right hand side one second when my computer catches up if my computer wants to catch up <laughs> ah blooming norfolk here we go um, Valentine's, yeah. So basically, all these on the down here is of the 301 sales. Uh, so that's that. And then when you look at Stripe, so we only did it in the last uh, five days or so. So if we look at the last week, let's say, there we go, um, just over ten and a half grand because there's a bit extra. So that's first of all, that's the proof. So people should be able to easily show you the proof, like in a few seconds. Um, the next thing is. All you should care about in business is one thing, which is profit. So this up here is not profit, that's just revenue. So if we just um, squeeze this down, uh, let's just move it away, in fact. Let's just delete it, sorry. So let's just break this down a bit. So. After that, obviously straight away there's VAT. So the way you work that out, um, 10535 divided by 1.2 means after the, you get rid of the VAT, there's that. Oopsie. 17. Okay, so that's actual, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's just after getting the, the VAT. But then there's also the costs. So basically with each, um, in fact, it's easy to do it the other way around. So in a float, typically we have, uh, yeah, five, five quid in costs. So because it was uh, a 35 pound offer, in fact, let's do it this way. So 35 pounds minus, the, uh, the VAT equals 229.17. You minus the five pounds equals 24.17 um, gross profit. So GP. So I'm ignoring, you know, gross profit is basically, you know, cost of goods sold, the COGS. So that times 301, so times however many we sold, that is 2417 times 301 yeah so that is the actual profit so when you're working out true return on ad spend uh, ROAS it's basically that divided by the 941 pounds 25 um, oh and also don't forget there's other costs. So there's loads of little costs that people always ignore, always. So for example, if we just go to any random payment of 35 quid, what are the costs? There's Stripe costs, don't forget. So um, 
so if we just pick a random one so there's 69p in costs so basically what is 69p times 301 69 times 301 equals 200 in fact yeah so we need to minus 207.69 so actually so let's break this down <laughs> again so 7275.17 minus 207 point that so this is the actual calculation you do to work out return on ad spend as in real return on ad spend so this is the actual profit we made which isn't bad you then divide that by the cost as in how much it costs you to get that and that <clears throat> so that divided by 941.25 so I'll just Sorry, I just pressed the wrong button. Divided by 941.25. That equals 7.5, pretty much. And then you, yeah, <clears throat> times that by 100. So I'm running out of space here. Times 100. So basically, this, yeah, it was a 750% ROAS. So, yeah. So that is actually the reality. Whereas if you look to the headline figures, you know, you're going, oh wow, 900 quid to get 10 and a half. It looks like over a thousand percent. But in reality, it was actually 750. So hopefully that makes sense. And there's one other thing that you can work out here, which is good practice. Um, <clears throat> and you should always do this. So there's 301 sales here. What is my CPA for this campaign? What is my cost per acquisition? Uh, for all of this well it's simply this so well it's that divided by that so it's 941 oh, 25p divided by that so basically it cost us three pounds and 12 pence CPA and then in order to do an idiot check if you're ever unsure just work out okay so for every customer we got, it cost us three pounds twelve times it by three hundred and one customers, nine three. Nine, yeah, there we go. Um, I've rounded it. Um, yeah. So hopefully that makes sense and um, it's a good bit of practice for your business maths. Um, always be aware of headline figures. Basically, don't believe anything you see online. <laughs> Toodles. Mm -hmm.